What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am doing my first ever AEW All Elite Wrestling pay-per-view predictions video. Now I haven't covered much AEW content on this channel as I never was really into it in the first sort of 2019-2020. I tried to get into it during the beginning but I don't know what it was. I just couldn't really get into it but this year this summer specifically with the debut of CM Punk, Adam Cole, Brian Danielson it brought me back to the AEW product and I've been really enjoying it ever since. So I've reacted to All Out. I did watch All Out in September but I didn't do a predictions video. I will be watching AEW full gear so I thought why not do a predictions video as well as reactions videos for the show so upcoming right here right now is the first ever AEW predictions video on the Joe Talks Wrestling channel AEW full gear 2021 let's get right in to the first match the first match on the card is a pre-show women's tag match. Now, I haven't actually followed much of the AEW women's division other than the main event stuff of, like, Britt Baker. So I'm not too sure about most of these talents. I don't really know who they are. I'm not too familiar. But we've got a tag match between Nyla Rose and Jamie Hayter versus Hikaru Shida and Thunder Rosa. I am predicting uh, Hikaru Shida and Thunder Rosa to win just because I feel like they might be the underdogs. I'm not too sure. Uh, you guys let me know if I'm wrong on that in the comment section down below. Below, but I'm going with Hakuro Shida and Thunder Rosa. Next up, we have a match that I believe was made last night on Dynamite. It's another tag match. Pack and Cody Rhodes are taking on Malachi Black and Andrade El Idolo. For this one, I've got Malachi Black and Andrade El Idolo going over. As based on the last time Cody and Malachi went one on one, Cody actually won, which I've seen a lot of people say probably wasn't the best move. I personally would have had Malachi win and have him beat Cody three times. But it's time for Malachi to get his win back. Also, Andrade El Idolo has been feuding with Pack. Uh, this feud can continue. I don't know who's going to take the pin. I feel like Malachi Black will pin Pack, But there you go. Malachi Black and Andrade El Idolo to win. This one's a big one. A street fight between the inner circle, the members of which are Chris Jericho, Jake Hager, TNT champion Sammy Guevara, Santana and Ortiz, taking on Ethan Page, Scorpio Sky, Junior Dos Santos, Andre Arlovsky, I don't know if that's that right, probably not, and Dan Lambert. Uh, we all want to see Dan Lambert get his ass kicked, and I am predicting the inner circle to win. Up next, we have a match that I am very much looking forward to. A Falls Count Anywhere match. The Super Click, Adam Cole and the Young Bucks taking on the Jurassic Express and Christian Cage. This match should be awesome. I cannot wait to watch it happen. And I think that Christian Cage and the Jurassic Express will be picking up the W. Next up on the card, we have Darby Allen versus MJF. Now, I think 100% that Maxwell Jacob Friedman is a future AEW World Champion. However, I don't think that time is anytime soon. And I actually think that Darby Allen will beat him based on the fact that Darby needs a win again. Obviously, he got beat by CM Punk and uh, he's just come back. He's feuding with MJF. I feel like we will see some interference in this match. But in the end, Darby Allen's going to win. Next up, we have the AEW Tag Team Championship match, and it is the current champions, the Lucha Brothers, taking on the AAA Tag Team Champions, FTR. Now, the Lucha Brothers have just won the Tag Team Championships in that amazing steel cage match with the Young Bucks at All Out. It was epic, and I think their reign is only just getting started. So, I have got the Lucha Brothers retaining the AEW Tag Team titles. Next up, we have the AEW Women's Championship match. It is Dr. Britt Baker taking on Tay Conti or Conti. I'm not too sure. But anyway, Britt Baker is unstoppable right now. And I don't think she's going to be losing that title anytime soon. So I'm predicting Britt Baker to retain the women's title. Oh boy, up next we have probably one of the most looked forward to matches on the Full Gear card. I regret majorly not doing a reaction video to these two's promo battle. It is CM Punk versus Eddie Kingston. This will be awesome. Now, Eddie Kingston has come out and said in his promo that he doesn't care about winning or losing. He just wants to beat Punk's ass. It's a shame that they haven't uh, put a stipulation on this match, like Street Fighter Falls Count Anywhere. 
but we've already got that on the card and I can imagine Tony Khan doesn't want to overbook the full gear card with stipulated matches. So it's just a one-on-one -on -one match. I think this is the first match in a feud. I feel like we'll have this match and then later down the road we might have like an Extreme Rules, or not Extreme Rules, but a like Street Fight or a Falls Count Anywhere match uh, between these two. I feel like there's a lot of story to be told here. I can't wait to watch it happen, but CM Punk is going to be beating Eddie Kingston. Will it be clean? I don't know, but Eddie Kingston has said that he doesn't care about winning or losing, which sort of protects him a little bit, as you can have him lose, and he wouldn't have cared about it, if that makes sense. But CM Punk's undefeated. I think it's going to stay that way. Next up on the Full Gear card, we have the finals in the AEW Championship Eliminator Tournament. It is the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, taking on former TNT champion, Miro, FKA, Rusev. Uh, we've seen this match on SmackDown a couple years back, Daniel Bryan versus Rusev. I feel like it's going to be much different now that these two are completely different athletes. Also, it was originally apparently rumoured to be penciled in Bryan versus Moxley, but obviously Mox is away at the moment, so they've put in Miro. However, I think this is going to be a banger of a match. I'm predicting Brian Danielson to win. However, I think it is probably a bit too soon to put him in the title picture. I think you could save it. Whether Hangman or Kenny wins, you know, they've only just told the they've only just told the story of Brian versus Kenny. It literally happened a few weeks back. So, I would have held off but you're sort of in a bit of a sticky situation here where you want to keep Brian's sort of undefeated uh, streak alive. And yeah, I, I think he's going to win. I think Brian Danielson's going to win. I, however, personally wouldn't have him compete for the title just yet. But I don't see Miro winning, unfortunately. I wouldn't rule out a surprise victory. I wouldn't rule it out. But I'm predicting the American Dragon, Brian Danielson, to become the new number one contender for the AEW world title. And finally, for the main event of Full Gear, we have a match that we have been looking forward to for ages. Kenny Omega defends the AEW World Championship against Hangman Adam Page. Will Hangman crumble again or will he finally pick up the AEW World title? The story here is incredible. I saw the contract signing on Dynamite and I cannot wait for this match. It will be epic and hopefully... Fingers crossed, I am predicting Hangman Adam Page to finally become the AEW World Champion and dethrone Kenny Omega. Now, this does sort of put it in an awkward situation as I would have Brian Danielson win the AEW Championship soon. But if you have Hangman win, do you want to tell that story already? You know, I don't know here. So it's a tricky one. Is Miro going to win? I don't know. They've sort of, I don't know. It's, it's, it's really tricky to book this one, in my opinion. But I think that Brian Danielson will win the uh, number one contendership. And Hangman Adam Page is going to become the new AEW World Champion. And there you go. That's my predictions for AEW Full Gear. It is taking place this Saturday. If you want to watch it, you can do what I've done and buy it on Fight TV. I will be watching it live. Obviously, this predictions video takes place before the Go Home Rampage. So any matches added, I will add in the comment section and the description down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Stay tuned for AEW Full Gear predictions. Not predictions, that's this video. Reactions after the pay-per-view has aired. I will be making them live and uploading them shortly after, during the show, maybe after. I don't know how it will work just yet. But anyway, like, comment, and subscribe. Tell me your predictions in the comment section down below. Do you agree with me, or do you think something else is going to happen? Will we see any surprise debuts? I know a lot of people are hoping that Wyndham, aka Bray Wyatt, might make his debut. I don't see it happening. That's why I haven't talked about it in this video. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I will see you at full gear. Goodbye.